Okay, go on. All right. We've got a three and a half amp hour Panasonic GA cell here. Four point two three volts. It was charged pretty aggressively, but uh, it's pulled back off to maybe thirty-three. Maybe I mean I'm not that precise, but ballparking. Oh, let's go sideways. This is the cell label, so you can see it for the video, but uh, the label team tends to obstruct some of the video where you can see the cam crushing fixed away. Epic, dude. I got the whole thing that time. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> no, that's the whole thing. Next one, I'll try to get in slow motion. Dude, this one's died perfectly. Ready for your close up. This is a 25 hour from the side, so this should pretty much guarantee it'll be a good time. <laughs> what, what's, it, what's the charge at? Four point two eight right now. Come here, Ryan. Twenty five R. Charged aggressively, and now it's cooled to maybe thirty flat degrees C. You face it label away, just so that it doesn't obstruct the uh, video there with the label. This should be a good one. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, the whole part of it. I mean, the yellow, right? Yeah. Right anywhere it gets. Now reading 4.21. We stopped when it said 4.35. We were charging like 2 or 3C. So now it's reading 4.20 after it's rested about 2 or 3 minutes. It's still warm from charging, maybe 35 degrees C, I'd say. This should short it out. And this cell is a Panasonic GA, 3.5 amp hour, 18 to 50, obviously. Shorting it out. Shorting it hydraulic. And burning electrolyte. So the vent work, even while being crushed with a press, the vent work. Oh, sorry, wrong video. We're getting some electrolyte vapor. That's amazing, it's stacking on itself so well that the pressure crazy. I feel the temperature here. It's about mm, maybe 70 Celsius, I bet. This is Two layers of nitrile I'm wearing, so maybe maybe 75 Celsius. Very little electrolyte vapor. We keep crushing. It's a beautiful venting event, really. 
no, no pressure buildup. Gases. There it is. So this one uh, opened up like this. I think the anode may be reactive enough in water that we actually get some event when I put it in water. So let's see what happens here. Maybe more than just bubbles this time. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, I would say definitely more than just bubbles this time. More than just bubbles that time. Sweet. Wow.